behalf of the Street Satisai Web Organization, we'd like to welcome you to your new home so you can enter now. Sat now, I take it. Just take it. Sairam means I see the God that is present in you and I greet that God. Sairam. Come in, come in, come in. Come in, come in, come in. Come Come in, come in. 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 Come that's yours, right? That is yours. That's yours. That's Happy to see everyone today. Well, it's over the weekend, and I don't know what to say. But as I say, I'm very happy to be part of this, and all is God work going on. Now, this guy here. Every single thing that he could possibly say at any point in time. He would say, yes, I can do it. Yes, what do you want me to do? No, don't send any money for me. I will make you. This is something, a quality that you very find in very few individuals on this earth. This is the kind of individual that makes this earth have a He deserves a round of applause. I can't express how I feel right now. I just have to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's really a blessing to be here. Um, I don't really speak in general. <laughs> um, we are just so happy to be a part of the team um, and helping uh, make everything good for everyone. Um, we do hope and pray that whatever it is given with love, 
that it will be cherished and you use it and try to improve every day. In Come on. When you renew safari yet, Lord and but we have seen from the back of the yard what's going on. No, no, hold on. That one over there. Tell him. He not be here in New York, pretend mommy beat you and he's crying hard. <laughs> <laughs> Say it hard. Scream. Come to the bed. Nice! <laughs> it's already too late. Serum. Serum. Embodiment of love. On behalf of the Sri Satisai Bible Organization of Guyana, I'd like to thank the Trinidad Punta Bar of coming here to do all this work that Swami has sent them to here and has made nine people, nine families happy. And, uh... Some men just came down the road riding a bicycle and as they came down the fellow said, I want to be a part of this miracle house. We said, well, who are you? Do you know the family? No. Where are you from? I'm about from three blocks, about three blocks down the road. So how do you know that this is a miracle house? I can just feel that. And he just stopped there and he remained with us. And then he, his friend, and then the next friend came. They went to the next project with us. Well, I would have reached there. And as you could see, that that was such a powerful influence on all of us. These guys can be smiling and anything to do. You give them, move that, push, and they like if they one of us, and then when we told them we're going 10 minutes drive away. The fella went to drop his three children home in his bicycle, and the three children tell him, Daddy, where it is you're going, he had to ride down the road to meet us. But we see him riding, and they take up the two children. So he and the bigger one ride, and the others find their way down the road there as well. Aspect of this project, and we would like to say from our hearts, thank you very much. Giving a home, or a house, whatever it is, to a family and that to fully furnishing it is indeed a great favor. It is a very, very big effort to come here, bring all the shipment in, coordinate all the furniture, all the logistics, getting everybody to get leave and time off at the same time from their schedule to be here. That in itself is very, very wonderful. It is very, very touching. And we would like to say from the bottom of our hearts, from the Guyanese devotee, thank you very much. And the reason why this house project has me feeling emotional and I can't connect it. I remember when my dad died, my mom hadn't a house. You know, and that was a very, very sad thing. It was very, very hard growing up without a house. Sign around if you want. Well, this is the last house of this lovely trip, and I would say we we'll probably say the best for last. We had a um, we had a couple challenges, but it, it really we didn't do anything. We got some angels in our challenges to get these houses here. They were challenges up to the last minutes. And we had some people who did excellent work. I know uh, Brother Sunil is one of them. He, he would say no, but he, was, he really, really came out all the way for us. And he was away before this happened, so he just had a few days to try to scramble things together for us. Um, my brother Suresh, Suresh was here. He said he would have stayed here. He's not here. He came in a little bit. Okay, brother Suresh was very instrumental for us also. We had a gentleman on the port who is not here. He, I really was hoping he was going to come. Uh, Mr. Narayan, who went beyond the court, it's like Swami put him on that port just for us. The kind of things he had, he did for us to get these things out, nobody would do that just, just normal like that. So there were a lot of things happening for you all, for this family in particular. All these people for the last few months, we're talking about you all, so happy to come and have this service through us. Um, it was so nice to come here, yeah, and we had nine houses to do, and we are studying on my, oh, you go for it all. But, the movement and the, the first two houses we started building was a uh, time when we went up and down, but everything moved by board and it happened. And it was so nice to come and share our love. And we, we always only go do this kind of thing. You are one of that selected family. 
that God have chosen. A house people will spend their life, they could not get a shelter. And this is only through His grace, Swami's grace, that these miracles, magics taking place. Even to put up one house of your own, you know how much efforts somebody has to put. And then putting nine houses, coordinating that, is impossible without His grace. And setting example, the God chosen you to get this house, you have to set example for the other people that yes, this is the family I have to look forward to. Coordination of this house might have over 5,000 screws, nails, bolts, roof, galvanized, coordinating all that for each single house, shipping and so on. It was not possible for human being. Yes, it done through the human beings, but only through the grace of God. So, make this house an example house. Not the house, the family living in the, this house should be an example to the society, to the family. And in particular, to you children, you have to be a uh, learn a lesson. This will go a long time with you. Your generations will talk about this. You will talk about this. That some people came from somewhere and they put up the house. We used to live in that condition and this condition. And then our life changed. You will achieve a lot in your life. Here we come here to do, as everybody said, nine homes. But you know, just going around looking, looking into people's homes, we don't know we observe them. We're looking. And there are so many other homes that we're looking at now and we feel like, you know, we can do so much more, so much more for persons who are here. But you all have been chosen instead of these other persons. And the other eight have been chosen. And you know, you wonder why? Why does that happen? And I think it's because of your prayer. Because Baba wants you all to have this. Right? Oh, he's a young man? Yeah. Oh, I'm nearly there, man. 68. <laughs> cool. Okay, he's a 68 year old and uh, he's very active in a Trinidad Sai organization. And this is a peculiar case because I never see he's sick. He's always present. And he jumped at a chance when he heard. He, he connect with our team, he jumped by chance. I just want to say that um, the first morning we went to start the saver. We start by Keisho's um, house, his multi shop. And I don't know how much love we could really give to these people. You know, we keep saying love, love. But his boys and them, from whatever level was. They share so much love. We, every time I go somewhere, it's what we said learn from who we interact. And it's not so much how we, we, I know all we, most of our people. But look, my hair is raising. That love, Kesha boys, you are water. Out your water, what? And we are doing that thing. <laughs> but I think I had my share of talking. We can give a chance to Brother Steve or Brother Anson. So I said I had to come on this one. And the unity and the love amongst the group, I said I'm not missing it. And it was a blessing for me to serve God in this manner because service to mankind is service. Before I started these projects, before that told me about this, and I came about two years ago or so, I used to think that you know um when when you do something good god will bless you when when you serve someone god will bless you but the thing is this opportunity to serve is a blessing and i really hope that this house changes well your mindset on that and anytime you have the opportunity to help someone you do because that's a blessing from god and this is my second project outside of the country. I was supposed to go, go Curacao and I broke my foot and I was so sad because, you know, I really want, I really love to come to these projects. It's like every Sunday after the project finish, you're looking forward to the next Sunday. We do these projects every single Sunday in Trinidad. So I just, since it's the last house, you know, sad to leave the country now and going back to Trinidad. Yeah, it's around. Okay. So happy.
Unconditional love, this freedom that the only thing you could think about in your life is Lord, I love you. So, all the people who came together, all the people who touch, the people who manufacture the chairs, the walls, who put them together, this is not all the people here. No, they have so many people want to come in this project hundreds, hundreds, you know. So many of them came and take time out to come together and put this together back in Trinidad, have this prefab and come over here. Not to, to try to make a living. The only reason we were born is to love God. And when we love God unconditionally, we will never have a bad day. We will never have something that we could say is a problem. So all of you who feel you have a problem today, 
take it as a challenge from God and enjoy it. To have worked with you all, these highly elevated souls, who probably now realize there's a bigger picture in life, who will take this little team and start to do Seva. That is what we want from you guys. That the organization will start to animate people and start to realize, you know, 25 years ago, we couldn't have built a house. You know, we saw, I, I realize I am integral part. How many of us can make that sacrifice? So all you young people, don't ever feel any saver is too small. But don't have the vision that if I share 10 roti today, that is what I call saver. Sai organization of Trinidad in collaboration with Guyana Sawyer organization. May all the beings in all the worlds be happy.